Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel and I am super excited to be here today because this is my last budget to do uh, for the month of August so we can move into September. I am um, filming this on September 1st and I am closing out my sinking funds and savings tracker because I just got back on vacation from vacation and we used our vacation fund here to um, pay for our vacation. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to get into this, kind of show you how the numbers worked. Um, part of this vacation money that I had here was taken out and put into my checking account to cover the cost of um, any spending. And that was $1,300 or $1,300 of this vacation fund actually got transferred into checking at the beginning of the month. And then when we went on vacation, it was already there sitting in checking ready to spend, go out to eat, have fun, and do all the things. And we had an amazing vacation. So it was really awesome because we because we budgeted enough money and we had plenty of stimulus money this year, um, especially early in the year when we all got like, what, $1,200 or something. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a lot of money. And we put aside $3,500 of all of that um, money straight into savings and just left it there and pretended it didn't exist anymore until vacation time. So it was nice just to show up on vacation and go, I want this, I want this, I want this and had an amazing time. Um, and so all I, I, now that I've done a vacation fund, now that I've got done this amount and, um, kind of have a better grasp on how to budget for a vacation, it's, it's, amazing feeling to go in knowing everything's going to be paid for and it's cash there's no debt and you come home and there's no extra debt <laughs> i mean it's awesome you will see one a uh, couple credit card transactions but nothing so substantial that i can't cover it or cash flow it and that was the whole point cash flow the entire vacation and um, we had the time of our life so really excited about that so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in i'm going to pop out these pages and we're going to do the numbers so sinking fund savings tracker and ignore this mess over here um this here credit card transaction log that's what we're going to close out so those are the pages we're going to get into and um let's get started Okay, let's start with the sinking funds. We did have two sinking funds that came out this month um, that um, needed to be taken care of. Orkin came by and sprayed around the house and our house is safe from bugs and we're happy and excited about that. And then I also had to uh, pay our credit card this $102 because I paid for my PO box with the credit card. And so I kept the cash, basically what I would put deposit in here, I kept the cash in my checking account and pay the credit card with that. So um, that worked out pretty good. And then the rest of the money got redispersed between all this other stuff. So nothing else was taken out. So I'm just doing a line here and just remind myself, nope, nothing else came out. Um, and there we go. All right, so we have a total spent out of sinking funds, $88 plus the 102 is 190. So 190, um, I did have 48 cents in dividends and I did add the child tax credit. I did remember this time, it still messed me up, um, but I did put it in the sinking funds. I'm consistently putting it in the sinking funds. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, so we had six hundred and thirty-one dollars and fourteen cents um, minus the one ninety. Means I put in. Well, I didn't put in, but um, it was. Um, you know what? I did that wrong. Let's start over here. <laughs> so two thousand seven hundred and six dollars and seventy-six cents minus the six. Hundred and thirty-one dollars and fourteen cents. Did I subtract that? I did. I did not mean to do that. Start again. Two thousand seven hundred and six dollars and seventy-six cents plus the deposit for the six hundred and thirty-one dollars and fourteen cents minus the one ninety gives us three thousand. $147.90. So 
So that is what I think we should have. I haven't really paid, oops, I hit something over here, paid attention to my bank account to know, I know this is about what it is, um, but I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty close. So if I'm wrong, I will make adjustments going into September, but right now I'm just closing out August and this is not an account that gets a lot of money transfer in and out, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so, Amazon Prime is now at $120. We added $10 to that. That is fully funded in September when the um, transaction for 119 comes out. The dollar will stay here in the sinking funds, and I will pay the uh, Amazon Prime. Um, I think it goes on my credit card bill. It may come out of my checking account. I can't remember which, where I have it set up for. But um, anyways, regardless, I have the cash to pay it and that's all that really matters to me. So I have this 46.64 plus 5.83. That gives me 52.47. And oh, there we go, 52.47. So I'm gonna put 52.47 here and 52.47 there. Um, we're going to slide this just a little bit more. I had a hundred and oops, a hundred and forty-four dollars plus fifty-five. Oops, I cannot punch buttons today. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. One forty-four plus fifty-five minus eighty-eight, and that gives us one eleven. And this is gonna go up, I think, a little bit because I've been having them use granules and not just spray the outside of the house because it's so wet lately. Every time they come, um, the granules work better for ants and they keep the ants out of the house and it works. I love it. Okay, so I wanna keep doing that. It's another 10, well, it's just under $10. So yeah, I'm gonna increase that just a little bit starting in September. Um, Let's see, heating and AC, $70, 80, 90. There we go. Uh, City of Chesapeake, uh, 10502 plus 57. I should be able to do math in my head, but I can't. <laughs> Vacation still, whew, run down. There we go, 16202. Uh, cell phone and technology, I added $100 here. So that's $355.85. Um, Christmas fund is now at $450. Uh, vacation fund. Now this is a different vacation fund from the savings account. That was a lump sum that I put away for a specific vacation. This is like random trips to go visit my mom and stay at a hotel or little things like that. And we can use it for flexible staycations, um, activities and stuff like that. So. Um, if we consider something we would do on vacation, but not necessarily full blown week, two week vacation, that's what this is for, funded for. So $50 and 50 is $100, there we go. And sometimes I steal from it and use it for other things and that's okay. Um, 102, so if you add $85 plus 17, you get 102. So really this is fully funded and spent and my PO box is still good to go. Uh, business license for next year, I'm gonna put, I have $30 in there. Um, my son's senior year is fully funded at $1,000. Um, Canva is fully funded at 120 next time that comes around. Dividends, let's see, went 48 cents, so $3.61 plus the 48 cents. So these are dividends for the bank account that I have the savings, it's a credit union, so they give us a little a few pennies here and there, and we appreciate that. So 250 and 250 is 500, and I wonder if this totals the same. So let's go through these totals and add them up. So Amazon Prime, Disney Plus is the subscription I have come out annually, as well as uh, this Apple subscription for, you know, all the, um, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, the whole Office Suite package for my Mac. Um, that's what that is for. It renews every December. Uh, Orkin Termite is a, con a contract that we have. So the Termite contracts every May, I think, or June. And then the spray is quarterly. So I kind of total all those together and just put money into that. 
uh, heating and AC. That's our contract for maintenance. They should be coming out, calling us and coming out for the fall maintenance for the heater. And that should be soon. So that's good. Uh, City of Chesapeake is for our vehicle property tax fees and stormwater fees for the year. Um, I just take the total of what I spent in the previous year and divide it by 12. And that's what I save. And it covers all or more than what we need. Sometimes it goes a little negative, but it's only a few dollars just because of adjustments and stuff like that. Um, cell phone tech. Um, anything tech related, cell phone related. This is where the money comes from. This is not our bill for every month, but this is if we wanted to buy something new, we can just throw it in, that we can get it out of this fund. Christmas fund, obviously is for Christmas, gifts or activities or whatever we wanna spend it on. Vacation, I explained that one. P.O. Box, um, that's for my businesses and um, I keep my P.O. Box listed in my um, description box below. So if you wanted to send something, or a chat with me, that would be great through snail mail. I love that. Um, senior year, my son is a senior. He starts next week, day after Labor Day, first day of school. I just picked up his Chromebook with him today. Last year, public school. I mean, I just cannot imagine. Oh my goodness. Canva is how I make my pro digital products, like these budget sheets and stuff, and I sell them on Etsy. So there's that, and that's fully funded for a year. So when that is up, I can use this to pay for next year's. Uh, dividends, like I said, the bank, and then child tax credit. We're just putting it in savings until we know for sure that um, we don't owe in taxes because we got our child tax credit early. I mean, I, I don't know how it's gonna work or how the tax law is gonna work, but whatever it is, might as well put it in savings and not worry about it. So this is July and August, um, what they put in a checking account and I just threw it into savings. Um, I like taking the stimulus and doing that unless there's an emergency that's popped up that we needed to take care of something. I just like throwing it in savings until I actually need it and go from there. All right, so, oh, I forgot the total. <laughs> I've, I have a total written, but let's see if this adds up the same way going across as it does down. All right, so 120 plus 5247 plus 5247 plus 111. Oops, that's 11 plus 100. I'm sorry about that. Uh, 90 plus 162.02 plus 355.85 plus 450, plus 100, plus 30, plus 1,000, plus 120, plus 409, plus 500. All right, we're check and check. Oops, numbers do match, $3,147.90 that should match my bank account. I'm pretty sure it does. I just don't have that number in front of me. Um, so yeah, sinking funds are closed and I am happy the way things turned out. So let's move on to our savings tracker. And I'm gonna explain some things because you know a lot of money was moving in and out of the savings. Now this is one savings account and I call it sinking funds because of what we're using it for and how many funds we have in this. Um, and it's a specific savings account. This is a separate savings account. So this is, actually part of the joint checking and savings that my husband and I've had for over 20 some years when he enlisted in the Navy <laughs> in 90, I think we started this bank um, in 98. And so, yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> it's been over 22 years. Uh, that's the year my son was born too. So anyways, um, here we go. Start an emergency fund. If I flip this over, you're gonna see a messy credit card transaction log. We had Southern Jeep here for $300, and we had Southern Jeep here for $194.91. Now, because it was something with the Jeep, and my, Jeep, my husband's Jeep needed to work, we decided to take it out of the starter emergency fund. And whatever the difference was, out of those two numbers, out of that $1,000, the rest of it was gonna to go to the credit card as well because we did other spending. Um, I bought health-related item um, where I paid, because I don't really have it in the budget, I just put it on the credit card, um, N8 
uh, chiropractic, it was $200. That gives me 12 sessions. It actually gives me, um, that breaks down to $16.66 a session instead of $25 a session. So things like that. Erin um, Condren surprise box, which I have not mentioned in these videos, but I will be doing a surprise get box giveaway in September. Um, as soon as I have that, um, I will have that listed in the description, in the title. Um, you will know when it's coming and what the rules are and the time frame. So I will do that. I do have two boxes, one for myself and then one to give away. Um, and that was because I reached over 200 subscribers. I was really happy with that. I was so excited. It was very organic the way I've gotten that. My channel is new. I'm just figuring things out. Um, and um, yeah, even though I've been doing this a year, I wanted to get a year in before I really started pushing the channel into more subscribers and what my niche was before I really got started. So that's what uh, I want to do the giveaway for. And um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, hotel stays are in here as well. Fairfield Inn, there's two here. And then there was a Hilton Advance purchase and then Hilton Gardens in, in Roanoke is where we stayed and great hotel, beautiful views. And that was our breakfast that morning. So um, those things had to be covered. So what we decided to do was use all that $1,000 emergency fund to cover um, not just the Jeep expenses, but a few other things. So we're gonna take out $1,000 there. And this was the first $1,000 I came up with when I started my Dave Ramsey um, journey and took the Financial Peace University class. And this is the first time I'm really kind of using it um, for that. But I've always kept it separated from the three to six month emergency fund. And going forward in September, I'm not gonna rebuild that. I'm gonna just start with the three to six month emergency fund because I still have enough in there. And um, I just wanted to kind of combine the two basically. So uh, start our emergency fund. I'm gonna make that go away and we're just gonna start with the three to six emergency savings. And I'll get to that in just a minute. So I subtract a thousand, that gives us zero dollars and zero cents. So that is no longer gonna be a category in my savings tracker. Um, not that I'm not gonna have an emergency fund, I will. I just won't have the baby uh, starter emergency fund because I decided to use it this month. Um, three to six month emergency fund savings. And I have some notes over here. Let me see if I can grab those. So I talked about the emergency fund. It paid for the v Jeep and some of the vacation and some of the other things that I wasn't planning on. Three to six months. Currently have one and a half months saved um, for us. And I took out $1,160.00. That was because um, we wanted to get um, the downstairs finished painted. And that was the estimate he gave us. So I transferred that money over into checking and it's just kind of sitting there. And um, I have to pay the painter for the last bit. And our downstairs is finally completely finished painting. And I'm super excited about that. It looks amazing downstairs. Um, and most of the house is pretty much painted. I just need one, my master bath closet, an office and a fourth bedroom, and then I'm done. And I'm super excited about that. So $10,222 or $220 minus the $1,160 I took out, that gives me $9,060.00. Now I need, a little note here, need $65 to round this up to a full, what I call in my savings tracker, little piggies. And I have, read on my savings tracker and broke it up into three months and three months. So, so I can get my um, six months fully funded without being overwhelmed. And if I hadn't moved that money, I would have had that $65, but I moved it. So here are my piggies. So I need to replenish $65 out of this and then get it back up to 
9125 That's the goal. These are my tracker. And then once I get that $65 in, then I will be 50% 50, 50 funded for my um, three-month emergency fund. I know, I'm all over the place here. So that's how that looks. And I'm excited about that. Now these trackers are in my Etsy store. So if you're looking for trackers like that with little piggies or just the jar or whatever, I sell those in my Etsy store. And um, yeah, they're relatively inexpensive and you can use them over and over again, reprint them if you got to, you know, start over again and things like that. But yeah, you get to use them over and over again. So for different things, different savings, you can do whatever you want with it. But I have different mason jars for that. Um, so next month, my goal is to make sure I have the $65 and then add more at uh, either $185 or $82.50 increments or $365 increments. Um, those are my two ways of kind of funding that emergency fund. Um, travel expense, nothing came in or out. So that stayed the same, 706. I typically keep $800, $800 now for this. And um, the rest of the money, the $94, is sitting in a ship account ready for my husband to deploy um, with the ship when the time comes. Um, and um, that pays for his meals and stuff as a um, contractor for the Navy. So he's a civilian contractor who's a retired Navy <laughs> Who still goes out on ships with the Navy um, and that's that so now I'm gonna write here two different numbers but they're going to equal the 3,500 so I moved $1,300 earlier this month um, that was our cash spending for the trip for the um, vacation we had and then uh, 2200 Plus the 20, which equals the 3,500. And that zeroes this out, um, was spent, uh, will be spent on the credit card. I'm gonna transfer $2,200. So this $1,000 and this 20, uh, two, so it's gonna be $3,200. I'm gonna move from my savings account because all this is one savings account. And these two combined will be moved into um, my credit card because the hotel transactions, um, when you go to a hotel, they add anywhere from 25 to $40 a day in holds, um, per day, uh, on your, on your card. So if you use a debit card, you know, it's not just the, a room amount. They have incidentals. So if you make long distance phone calls, which I don't know who's making long distance phone calls from my hotel room when we all have cell phones now, but that's still available. If you fax or use any of the services that are pay at the hotel, the marketplace, a lot of these places have food items you can charge to your room um, or charge, or they have like a dine-in option that can get charged to your room, which is what I had in Roanoke um, at the Hilton Garden Inn, they had a great breakfast. Um, instead of going to the IHOP down the street um, and down the hill, I we were like, hey, there's nobody in the lobby where, or nobody in the restaurant area where we can get breakfast. So it's safe for our kids who are not vaccinated. Uh, they are young adults, but um, my husband and I are vaccinated, but they are not, and they don't want to be in restaurants. So I thought, hey, we can just eat breakfast here at the hotel. They gave us tons of food and it was awesome and the kids were full and had a great time one had pancakes one had waffles i had french toast my husband had biscuits and gravy and i mean like it was just amazing food so um that was important to us so that is why we use the credit card so that most of our cash wasn't tied up for the um um checking account because they will put a hold on your checking account for that amount of money it will show up pending and then when they finally do the charges then that's when it all kind of happens at one time so when you have plenty of room on a credit card you don't mind it so much because you know in the end it's going to process and if you have to fight a charge you can pretty easily um, it's it feels weirder when you do actual cash instead of a credit card um, at least to me it does that, that's kind of the mindset I have so um, we had dividends and it was $16.66 per 
plus the 309 here that gave us $19. I didn't take anything out of that, so that's $19.75. This is just a way of tracking the dividend so I know this matches my checking or my savings account. Um, same thing with the um, sinking funds. When I do the dividends, it's a way to make sure I have an accurate number in the checking or savings account. Can't talk today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Vacation brain. All right, so we do know we have $3,009 here, or 3000 good gosh, $3.09 <laughs> added in dividends. Um, nothing else was added to the savings account. We do know we are taking out a lot of money. So $1,000 plus 1160 plus the 1300 I moved to checking plus the 2200 going to the credit card. We're taking out $5,660. That's a lot of money, but it was planned spending. This is actual cash being spent and used for its actual purpose. So the number's gonna drop way down, but I always knew the emergency fund was this line. Not all of this, just this. So I knew what I had in the emergency fund and the starter emergency fund and how to use the numbers best to fit our family. So there's that. And so I'm going to take the $15,402.66. Y'all must be laughing at me trying to say all these numbers. Okay, I'm going to add the 309 and I'm going to subtract the $5,660. And I'm going to get what I have in my checking account, which is $9,785.75. That closes out my savings tracker. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> so, though my checking, or my checking, I still can't talk right. Uh, though my savings account, this particular savings account, and these particular saving categories um, are much lower than they were, the savings did its job because I saved for the vacation. I spent the vacation. I saved for emergency fund. Yeah, the paint was an emergency, but we do plan on possibly moving in a year or two. And because of that, we wanted to spruce up the house, so we used it. And then, yes, we had a little bit of emergency with a vehicle, and we needed to cover some of the other charges that we had on our credit card. So we're willing to bring ourselves back to one and a half months. Um, as soon as I get that $65 put in, and that'll be that. Credit card. <laughs> okay, so I close out savings hacker. Uh, sinking funds. Credit card transaction log. Here we go. So this is what happened. I balanced forward um, money on the first of the month, um, and then I had Etsy charges, and I had um, some of the charges from GalaxyCon here, and then some of the charges from our regular, um, what you may call it? subscriptions that we have in our credit card. So we use our credit card for the subscriptions to keep the credit card active and keep our credit score at a decent level. And so we, if we need to make, take a loan, we can get decent uh, rates for a loan. Um, we might have to get cars. I know we're wanting to buy a different house when we move. So, you know, all those things, we wanna keep our credit score good. So what I did here is I highlight in yellow what is a subscription that I regularly know is going to happen. Black line is just something extra that we paid for that we use the credit card instead of our checking account and I had to pay for it. Um, here's the PO box um, sinking fund where I charged it and I used my checking account to pay for it. Um, this payment was from the previous month and I was just a couple of days late getting it to the credit card. And so that brought down everything to $270.88 here. And then I started um, doing the travel uh, prepaid for our Hilton advanced purchase. Um, the rooms were $40, $45 cheaper if I prepaid for it and we knew we were going and it was very close to the time of us leaving. So I didn't mind doing that. Um, regular charges, this M8 chiropractic, that's from health reasons. I do that every six weeks. And um, and then these surprise box and then the emergency for the Jeep is two different transactions because they let us drop off the Jeep. They kept it for the week 
and then my husband needed it for a few days and then he had to take it back and they had to finish fixing it. So that's why it's two separate charges. These were all things that we had planned on. And then, let's see, I've got something in the way here. So let's see. Um, and then the breakfast charge. And then I put tickets for Ripley's Aquarium which was amazing. We had a great time and just, they have penguins there. They were so cute. They were so awesome. Um, and then my hotel stay for four nights, five days, um, is each hotel, we had two hotel rooms, one for me and my husband and one for both our sons. Um, our sons stayed in one room and all the rooms had two queen size beds, I think, and they were identical. So uh, nine, hundred and fifty six dollars and thirteen cents for each room we didn't have any extra incidentals i do know when they did the block it was i think one thousand nineteen dollars um for incidentals uh and when there were no incidentals that popped up then um when they did the actual charge that's what they actually that was what we got when we made the reservation actual charges would have been and then that's what um, they actually charged our credit card i'm still waiting for, for it to go from pending into um what you might call it uh completed charge so it's kind of yellow <laughs> highlighted right now in my credit card and as far as the savings tracker whoops, wrong one it's on the other side of this the savings tracker here for this $2,200 plus this $1,000, that will be transferred once the, this these two charges are no longer pending. So I just know I'm going to do it. I just haven't done it yet. So mathematically on paper, I've got it figured out, but the bank hasn't cleared those charges yet. I did make a $376.50 payment to cover this yellow highlighted area and, um, and to cover for the uh, P.O. Box, that was a sinking fund cash left behind, um, things like that. So I will have another payment once it actually allows me to make the payment. And it will be all but $22 paid. So I am balancing for $22 into the month of September <laughs> transaction log. And that is because I, I wanted to do it that way. I wanted to keep my numbers here a little more even. And $22 is easy for me to handle out of my checking account. And I will just deal with that later in another payment. So yeah, it's not that big a deal. And I'm not that worried about it. So, Okay, so that is my credit card log. That is how I keep myself from going over budget. And as long as I know where the cash is to pay it, I know this is $3,220, with $3,220 that will i have the money for that i have the cash i can pay that right now uh it's sitting in my savings account i'm just waiting for all the transactions to clear um as long as you can do that and you work the system well for your advantage and not really you know just charge it up to the max and then never get to pay it off then you can use the credit card and you keep your credit score in a healthy range and that is very important that is very important to me so I'm going to zoom out and put all this back together and close out this video. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, I have explained everything in detail and these are my savings account and credit card account back here that I showed earlier and how I'm paying them and where the money's going in and out and um, including doing a vacation. So that was... <laughs> That was a lot of prep work, but it was worth it because, oh my gosh, I feel so much better going into September, knowing my numbers, knowing where I stand, knowing what I have available, and that's all that really matters right now. And getting into the new groove of starting the last school year, my son's senior year in the public school system in high school, I am super excited about that. And getting back into a routine and recovering from this vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and life goes on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.